Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we'll study about the removal of duplicates from an input array in Azure Data Factory. So here on the screen you can see in the notepad input array and in the array we can see the elements are like A1, B2, C3, then again A1, D4, E5, E5 again. So here we can clearly see from our eyes that A1 is repeated and E5 is repeated both twice. In the output array we want the result to remove this extra element which is duplicate or which appeared twice in the input array. Okay so we are going to take this input array and we'll go to the Azure portal and create a new pipeline. So let's go to the Azure portal. Here we are in the ADF, ADF-Cloud Knowledge. We are in the author section of it. We'll create a new pipeline. So we'll click on plus pipeline, then click on pipeline. In the properties general, we'll give the name of the pipeline to remove tubes from input array. Then in the canvas, the activity which we are going to use will be set variable activity because the input array we will take as pipeline variable. And then we are going to use function in set variable activity to get the desired output by removing the duplicates. Here in the activity search option, we can search directly for the set variable activity or if you are already familiar with the ADF portal, you'll know that it lies inside general section with the name as set variable. Let's take that in the canvas. And then in the set variable activity, we'll go directly to the settings section and take the variable, pipeline variable. Since there are no pipeline variables created yet, it will not show us any result in the drop down. So what we need to do is we have to create pipeline level variable. If we click on the empty space in the canvas for this pipeline, we will get these options, parameters, variables, settings, and output. The second tab is the variables tab where we are going to define our input and output array. So we'll click on plus new. Here we are going to create a name for the input array. Let's name it as input array. The type will be of array select from the drop down. Default value we have already taken from the notepad. We are going to paste this here. So in the array, the elements are comma separated and enclosed in double quotes. Okay. Now we are going to create another array, which will be the output array. Which, also, which is also of array type. The value will be generated through this activity. So here the default value will be nothing. Now we'll click over the activity, set variable activity. Set variable activity, the variable type selected will be pipeline level variable because we have created the input as pipeline level variable and we are going to get the output array. Now the name, if we now click on the name, it will show us both the arrays. The input we have already given the default value. Now we are going to generate the output arrow. So we'll select output array and then the value of this array. The value of this array will be given as dynamic content. So we'll click on add dynamic content, which will open up this option on the right side, which is pipeline expression builder. Here in the pipeline expression builder, we can make use of these four tabs, parameters, system variables, functions, variables, and create the result so that it will deduplicate. So for deduplication or removing duplicates, we have to make use of a function. If we go to the function section and search for union function, which is a collection function. Now, if we hover over union function, it states that it returns a single array or object with all the elements that are in either array or object passed to it. For example, the function result will be 1, 2, 3, 10, 101. If the input is union, first array is 1, 2, 3, comma separated, 
second array is 1 0 1 2 1 and 10 you can see that the input is having 1 2 3 and in the second comma separated array 2 and 1 are repeated okay 1 0 1 and 10 and the return result is having 1 2 3 10 and 1 0 1 and we can see in the output it is taking 1 2 3 from the first set of array and then it is checking the second array that 1 0 1 being the highest number it will take up and put at the last and then 2 1 are repeated it is not including it and then it is taking 10 so 1 2 3 10 and then 1 0 1 is the output means it has removed the duplicates and in union we have to write it as comma separated so we'll make use of this function union function we'll click over this in the input the first set of arrays will be the variable which is input array and then we have seen that we have to give the input as comma separated so we'll put a comma and then we'll again give the input array so this means that it will take up these values okay input array value copy just copy paste here comma again this value so it will take up this and this and then unionize here we will apply union so among these two input arrays it will only take up the unique values this union function will take up only the unique values from the two arrays okay this looks fine we'll click ok and we could now validate the pipeline click on debug and wait for the execution so the pipeline succeeded if we click over the output we can see the output array a1 b2 c3 d4 e5 which is the intended result a1 and e5 have not come as duplicates in the resultant array a1 and e5 which were duplicates have been removed using the collection function union in the set variable activity of the adf hope you have understood this video do let me know in comments if you have any queries happy learning Bye.